So in today's video, we are going to have a discussion on how to find the minimum value, the maximum value, and where it occurs using the method of completing the square. Let's begin our discussion with linear and quadratic functions. A linear function is a function of the form ax plus b, where a and b are all constants. A is called the slope or the gradient and b is called the intercept. Let's look at some examples of linear functions. Example of a linear function is 2x plus 1, 2x plus 6, and then 3x. For f of x, a is equal to 2, and then b is equal to 1. For g of x, a is equal to 2, and b is equal to 6. And for h of x, a is equal to 3, and then b is equal to 0. The graph of a linear function gives a straight line, which depends on the value of a. So that if a is greater than 0, then you have a graph that looks like this. And if a is less than 0, then this is what you have. Now let's talk about quadratic functions. A quadratic function is a function of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are all constants and a is not equal to 0. The function has a minimum value when a is greater than 0 and a maximum value when a is less than 0. Now let's look at some examples of quadratic functions. Given a quadratic function, f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 1, 3x squared or negative 3x squared minus 1, and then 5 minus 2x minus 9x squared. Each of the functions has a minimum value or a maximum value. f of x has a minimum value because a is equal to 2 and a is greater than 0, or better still, 2 is greater than 0. g of x has a maximum value because a is equal to negative 3 and negative 3 is less than 0. The same applies to h of x, a is equal to negative 9 and then negative 9 is less than 0. The minimum or the maximum value of a quadratic function is given by the formula negative into bracket b squared minus 4ac divided by 4a and it occurs at x is equal to negative b divided by 2a. So let's solve an example. Given a function say f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. What is the minimum value and where does it occur? Now, from the equation, we know that a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to 1. So we are going to substitute the values of a, b, and c into this equation. So it's going to be negative into bracket, negative 2, all squared minus 4 into bracket a is equal to 3 so we have 3 and then c is equal to 1 so 1 divided by 4 into bracket 3 negative 2 squared is 4 and then negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 negative 12 times 1 is negative 12 divided by 4 times 3 is 12. So it's going to be negative into bracket 4 minus 12 is negative 8 divided by 12. 4 goes into 8 2 times and then into 12 3 times. Now negative 1 times negative 2 over 3 is equal to 2 over 3 and this is the minimum value. 
Now to find where it occurs, we need to substitute B and A into this equation. So it's going to be negative into bracket. B is equal to negative 2. So we have negative 2 divided by 2 into bracket. A is 3. So we have 3. So 2 cancels 2. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1. So we have 1 over 3. So it occurs at x is equal to 1 over 3. So the minimum value for this particular quadratic function is 2 over 3. And then it occurs at x is equal to 1 over 3. So now let's see how to solve this problem using the method of completing the square. To solve using this approach, we first of all need to make sure that the coefficient of the x squared term is equal to 1. Or better still, we need to make sure that the number multiplying x squared is equal to 1. So to do that, we need to factor out 3. So we are going to have 3 into bracket. 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. Negative 2x divided by 3 is negative 2x over 3. And then 1 divided by 3 is 1 over 3. Next, we need to add and subtract the square of half the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is negative 2 over 3. So half of it means that we are going to multiply by 1 over 2. 2 goes into itself 1 and then we have negative 1 over 3 and then the square of negative 1 over 3 is negative 1 over 3 squared so let's fuse that into this equation so it's going to be 3 into bracket x squared minus 2 over 3 x plus negative 1 over 3 squared minus negative 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3. Now we are going to do away with negative 2 over 3x. So it's going to be x minus 1 over 3 all squared. minus negative 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 brackets close negative 1 over 3 squared is 1 over 9 plus 1 over 3 So it's going to be 3 brackets open x minus 1 divided by 3 all squared and negative 1 over 9 plus 1 over 3 is 2 over 9. So now let's multiply the 3 across. So we are going to have 3 into bracket x minus 1 over 3 all squared plus 3 goes into itself once and then into 9 3 times. So it's going to be 2 over 3. So we have 2 over 3. So from this, the minimum value is 2 over 3. And then to find where it occurs, we need to equate what's inside the bracket to 0. So it's going to be x minus 1 over 3 is equal to 0. And then we transpose negative 1 over 3. To the right hand side so it's going to be positive 1 over 3 so x is equal to 1 over 3 so the minimum value is 2 over 3 and then it occurs at x is equal to 1 over 3 let's solve some more examples if h of x is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 1 what is the minimum value and where does it okay so we know that we need to make the coefficient of the x squared term 1 
so we are going to factor 2 out so we are going to have 2 on the outside and then 2 x squared divided by 2 is x squared negative x divided by 2 is negative x over 2 and then negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 over 2 next we need to add and subtract the square of half the coefficient of x now the coefficient of x is negative 1 over 2 so half of it is times 1 over 2 which is equal to negative 1 over 4 and the square of negative 1 over 4 is negative 1 over 4 squared so now let's fuse that into the equation so we are going to have 2 on the outside and then we have x squared minus x over 2 plus negative 1 over 4 squared minus negative 1 over 4 squared minus 1 over 2 so we are going to eliminate negative x over 2 and then we are going to get x minus 1 over 4 all squared minus negative 1 over 4 squared minus 1 over 2 negative 1 over 4 squared is equal to 1 over 16 minus 1 over 2 so we are going to have x minus 1 over 4 all squared minus negative 1 over 16 minus 1 over 2 is equal to negative 9 over 16 and then we are going to multiply across with 2. So it's going to be 2 into bracket x minus 1 over 4 all squared minus 2 goes into 16 8 times. So minus 9 over 8. So the minimum value is negative 9 over 8. And then it occurs at x minus 1 over 4 is equal to 0 and then x is equal to 1 over 4 what is the maximum value of a function negative x squared minus 2x plus 3 and where does it okay so we know that we need to make the coefficient of x squared 1 so we are going to factor out negative 1 so it's going to be negative 1 on the outside and then we have x squared inside the brackets now negative 2x divided by negative 1 is plus 2x and then 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3 now we need to add and subtract the square of half the coefficient of x so the coefficient of x is 2 so half of 2 is times 1 over 2 which is equal to 1 and then the square of 1 is 1 squared so we are going to fuse that into the equation so it's going to be negative 1 on the outside x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared minus 1 squared minus 3 so let's eliminate 2x so it's going to be negative 1 into bracket x plus 1 all squared minus 1 squared minus 3 so we have negative 1 into bracket x plus 1 all squared minus 1 squared is 1 minus 3 now negative 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 4 so it's going to be negative 1 into bracket 
x plus 1 all squared minus 4 and then let's multiply negative 1 across so it's going to be negative into brackets x plus 1 all squared plus 4 because negative 1 times negative 4 is 4 so this is the maximum value and then it occurs at x plus 1 is equal to 0 x is equal to negative 1 so the maximum value is 4 and then it occurs at x is equal to negative 1